Well, right now, uh, we've been navigating this life in a pandemic. It feels like eternity, but it's been since the spring. So as we approach fall, we also approach cold and flu season. So how can we help prepare or strengthen your child's immune system during this time, especially as so many across our state are preparing to head back to the classroom? So joining us now uh, to talk about this is Tina Mahoney with Mesa Public Schools. She is the resource and education nurse with the Health Services department for our state's largest school district so thank you so much for joining us this morning and let's get right to it I mean many parents kind of feel helpless right now in terms of protecting their child but I imagine you would say there are many things we can start doing right away at home on a daily basis to make them as strong and resilient as possible absolutely Olivia good morning um, we what we recommend on a regular basis anyways is that kids get a good night's sleep they wake up, they have a good breakfast to start off their day um, and make sure they're taking their vitamins like they need to, um, drinking lots of water to stay hydrated. I think sometimes when you come into the cooler weather, you forget that you can still get really dehydrated very easily. So making sure all of those things are in place are important for kids to start their day um, and be successful at school. We are hoping, obviously, coming into the cold and flu season, that the things we've instituted in the schools um, to deal with the pandemic will also prevent some of the spread of um, the flu symptoms and the flu like we've seen in the past. For instance, wearing your mask, physically distancing, washing your hands regularly, using hand sanitizer. Um, obviously, these things would not be in place on a regular basis. Hand washing, yes, but the increase in the need to do that um, is not something we see every year from year to year. Um, we also are really strongly suggesting that even in a virtual learning environment, kids get their immunizations and be up to date um, on what they're needing to start school. Uh, that is in place even if you are virtual learning, but more importantly, when we come back face to face. Um, so the last thing that we want to see happen is in this era of um, using caution and prevention that um, kids will come down with a communicable disease that could be prevented by being vaccinated, such as chicken pox or measles. It would just make them more susceptible to other things. Um, and then if your child is showing signs or symptoms of not feeling well in the morning, fever, stomach ache, um, cough, cold symptoms, Keep them home. Um, it's more important that they stay home and rest, um, and, and they can always make up the work later. All of us want to see kids back in school with face-to-face -face learning. That's where it needs to happen. That's where they, they benefit and um, thrive the most. Uh, the things that we can offer in the school setting, food and nutrition, um, counseling services, social work services, um, health monitoring, as well as their education. It can all be met in the school setting, but if kids are coming to school sick and passing the germs, that's not gonna help. We wanna mitigate the spread of everything that's going on right now. And more importantly, during this time of um, mitigating the spread of COVID, we wanna make sure there's no underlying conditions and kids aren't getting sick and bringing things home to their family and community that will make them more susceptible in the long run. Tina, just very briefly, because we're just about out of time, are there any protocols in place or conversations happening with the nurses about maybe on-campus testing being made available as this season moves forward uh, for COVID so that you can have a, a better baseline of where the kids are as they return? We are not at this point in time doing um, on-campus testing, but we are partnering with Maricopa County for community-based testing, um, which is free to our students, our staff, the community, uh, right now, the um, one that we're using is Maricopa County um, or Mesa Community College testing site. We are also um, partnering with Mesa Fire to do our on-site flu clinics as well as community-based flu clinics with Maricopa County. So there are a lot of things in the works right now. As you know, Mesa Public Schools are not in session fully yet. We have on-site learning centers going on. But as we get closer to the hybrid model, which your segment before has shown that our positivity rate is dropping, which is really good news. Um, we are looking at getting closer to that hybrid model and then 
even closer to face-to-face -to -face learning. So as we get closer to that, we'll be releasing some dates for some on-site at school-based flu clinics like we okay. do every year, as well as community flu clinics and um, community testing sites because we want to make sure well, we keep everybody safe. Yes, your work critically important every school year, but um, most certainly this year. So Tina Mahoney, thank you so much with the Mesa oh, Public Schools. Thank School you so System. much. You stay safe.